In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, everyone. I read a lovely, pithy explanation of this evening's gospel, which is the Our Father. It was three P's. Provision, pardon, and protection. Provision, give us this day our daily bread. Pardon, forgive us our sins. Protection, deliver us from evil. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I only wish you were able to tolerate a little foolishness from me, but of course you are tolerant towards me. You see, the jealousy that I feel for you is God's own jealousy. I arranged for you to marry Christ so that I might give you away as a chaste virgin to this one husband. But the serpent with his cunning seduced Eve, and I am afraid that in the same way your ideas may get corrupted and turned away from simple devotion to Christ. Because any newcomer has only to proclaim a new Jesus different from the one that we preached, or you only have to receive a new spirit, different from the one you have already received, or a new gospel, different from the one you have already accepted, and you welcome it with open arms. As far as I can tell, these arch apostles have nothing more than I have. I may not be a polished speech maker, but as for knowledge, that is a different matter. Surely we have made this plain speaking on every subject in front of all of you. Or was I wrong, lowering myself so as to lift you high by preaching the gospel of God to you and taking no fee for it? I was robbing other churches, living on them so that I could serve you. When I was with you and ran out of money, I was no burden to anyone. The brothers who came from Macedonia provided me with everything I wanted. I was very careful and I always shall be not to be a burden to you in any way, 
and by Christ's truth in me, this cause of boasting will never be taken from me in the regions of Achaia. Would I do that if I did not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the responsorial psalm is, Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who love them. Majestic and glorious his work, his justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure, standing firm forever and ever. They are made in uprightness and truth. Gospel acclamation. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, in your prayers do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. So you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be hell holy. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. And do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their feelings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your feelings either. The Gospel of the Lord. The response to our prayers of intercession this evening is, Father, put new hearts within us. Christ is the high priest of his people. It is in him that we come together to make our prayers to the Father of us all. We thank you for calling us into the church. Bless us with constant faith and make it a source of life for others. Lord, bless our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray that his faith may not fail and that he may strengthen his brothers and sisters throughout the world. Turn sinners back to you. Grant us a humble and contrite heart. Your son knew what it was to be excluded from his homeland. Be mindful of those who must live far from their family and country and we remember, in a special way, all those of different nationalities 
who live in our own parish, that we may always keep them close to our hearts. We pray for all who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims throughout the world who have died. We pray for all who are poorly in mind or body, at home, nursing home, or in hospital. And we pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes and Saint Bernadette that they may be strengthened, encouraged, and sustained. We pray also for all those families, particularly those families in our own parish who are mourning the loss of a family member, praying that God may give them his consolation. Give eternal rest to all our deceased loved ones. Bring the whole church together in heaven. And we remember, especially at Mass this evening, Charlotte Branken, Jerry McCluskey, Annie McCausland, Barney Michael Kenny, Lily McKenna, and Antonio Lopez, all of whose anniversaries occur today. And we keep in our prayers those who have died of recent days and weeks, commending to God's mercy Tony Lochlin, who was buried here earlier today, John Henry Mulholland, late of Lurgan and formerly of Portadown, Jacques Petitjean of France, Brendan Kelly and Mary Livingstone. And we pray God in his mercy may grant these and all our own deceased loved ones a merciful judgment and an eternal repose. We offer you, Lord, our thanksgiving at the close of this day. In your mercy, forgive us the faults we have committed through human frailty, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Eamon, our Bishop, Michael, his assistant Bishop, Sean, our retired Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, St. Elizabeth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Holy Father, keep in your name those you have given me, that they may be one as we are one, says the Lord. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, and for protection tonight. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits thee here, ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>